Смещается, смещается. Да, да, я и говорю, что треугольник она. I'm even nervous right now making this video. My heart is pumping right, beating really fast right now. About a conversation I had with a gentleman who worked at Area 51. There is a lot that I can't. The research scientist turned federal agent. And I get calls and I go downstairs, get into a black SUV, drive two miles to the saucer base, get in my ship and go to the Mars colony or to the Temple Anomaly around Saturn. That was before I ever got anywhere close to CIA. I used to work on DARPA projects and things like that. And then the and then the CIA sort of dropped everything and sort of, you know, that's why they had people like us because they were we were expendable. Top secret special compartmented intelligence clearance, which permitted access to all facilities on the base at all times. It's the highest level of alert that the Navy has. In the wind tunnel was what I described as a flying saucer. There was no doubt about the form of the craft that was there. 30, 25, 35 feet in diameter, probably. Entirely new type of engine, which was a fusion containment engine. The two primary engines we use today are solid propellant and liquid propellant. Uh, there are about 61 different rocket engines. A fusion containment cell which you first start off with a vacuum chamber and you work your way up from there through the different stages you have to get to. All of the heads sit in the chairman of the boards of all the aerospace companies, they're innocent. They haven't done anything. They built everything and they know nothing about the other space program. So who the hell is running the other one? Something you may not realize about the base at Area 51 is there's several underground levels to this thing. And each one is compartmentalized, and each area is compartmentalized. And. A little dark. But now they got lights that come on just like this, magically appear. As you're walking down the thing, the lights pop up. You know, no, they sit through the body heat. But as you walk, that pop up. Does that one pop up? And that goes off. He had worked at the base, reverse engineering one of the nine captured alien sources housed there to learn exactly how its extraterrestrial power source worked. The human race, animals, microorganism, were brought here by one and only one alien race. We were colonized. Earth is not special in any form or fashion in this sense. There has been hundreds of planets like our own. Honestly, honestly, guy, I don't want to disclose simply for the fact I believe my life will be in danger, and I believe that it is, it is in danger right now. Argo to Venus Colony. How is it there? Dangerous. It's strange. Yeah. I had to work with creatures you wouldn't ever want to meet on any time. Yeah. You wouldn't even want to know exist. We're giving the, you're giving the Contras advanced weapons, and the advanced weapons wow. uh, had lasers on them. And the reason why these lasers were very effective for what they were doing was because a lot of the fighting was in the jungle. The zebra drill was specifically for the highest level of top secret information that was being exchanged between the command center and ships and or submarines at sea. I got as close to it as maybe 10 feet uh, and it was on a pedestal that was propped up. And I thought that is a strange crack. But this had been brought back from Germany, and it was in the wind tunnel. Uh, propulsion systems that you could leave this planet with, two of them are just a solid and liquid fuel. I happened to just pick one out of the other 61 engines to pick from, and I manufactured a magnetic fusion containment engine. The truth about his rocket and the alien engine that was shown to him by the U.S. government at Area 51, how did it happen where you were given black ops resources by the U.S. government? And who's building stuff? It's not them. All I know, I can tell you what happened on the business side of the fence. We just were shut down cold with no explanation. That was the end of it. So something went on. My access was only to our level where I worked uh, basically propagating the aliens. Uh, and that requires some explanation. Um, I'm a biophysicist and... Have, have you guys ever seen war games? In the war room, there's actually a war room out there. And this guy 
You can sit on this little stool. Area 51 is the repository for captured alien technology. Since it would be otherwise difficult to imagine any other secret so awful as to require the level of secrecy surrounding this facility. We are just as much an alien as the ones who created us. We were cloned and colonized from a dying planet almost identical to Earth that has long since perished millennia ago. Why does the government not want to release the UFO free energy technology that they have known about for the last 80 years that would put the oil and nuclear program out of business? This is where they, where I woke up. What really snapped me out of everything was when they told me about going into the uh, a village in El Salvador. Our early warning system off uh, Air Force Base in Greenland at that time that we had contact with an unidentified flying object that had entered uh, our airspace. One section of the of the slant had a plexiglass canopy over it. And from what I was told, whoever was the pilot would lie down prone and fly this craft from a prone position. It's a thermal fusion reaction inside, like a chunk of the sun contained in a magnetic bottle. When you tap that power, it allows you to have tremendous uh, thrust, which is what makes the rocket go forward. It cannot be the aerospace contractors. That's who I'm talking to. And they know nothing. The chairman of the boards know nothing. In the entire room, they're looking across at each other and watching body languages and that. They don't know anything. My job, I was brought in to basically propagate these aliens. Yes, there are aliens at Area 51, what you call Area 51. Um, and you can sit there and it's a rotate. We sit on it. It goes from the ground right here, all the way to that city up there. This secret airbase, where the government has tested advanced technology aircraft for the past 40 years, is also, as I've mentioned, referred to as Groom Lake. The Earth is in hollow, it's got honeycomb, huge cavernous areas that have underground cities. Uh, some of them are human, some of them 